Hello everyone, I am Liana with Music Academy International Inc. and welcome to the greatest piano channel on the internet, period. <laughs> so in this uh, video I'm gonna do a um, question and answer series. Again, thank you so much, thank you so much for your question. I have, I piled up here lots of questions from your emails and from Facebook and from Instagram and from the Patreon site. <laughs> so um, we having very important questions that needs to be answered correctly from my perspective. <laughs> I, so I'm having here question number one, how to find the right song for me? Good question. Number two, how to set goals? Very good question. How to practice slow? That's a really good question. Slow and more slow. How to break up the score? Very important. Let's do that. What kind of teacher do I need? Do I need one? Okay, we will see. Then we have in here how long should I practice? How to learn quick a piece? Okay, we all want quick. Yes, that's gonna come. What to practice in a session? That's good, in a practice session. Then we having coordination exercises for beginners. Absolutely. Why should I play scales? We're gonna get through it. Why arpeggios and why versions? <laughs> why should I learn about arpeggio and its inversions? What the heck are them? So we're gonna go there. Chord practice, practice exercise. And ultimately, I have one more classical pieces that I believe you should learn and why. All right? You like that, right? So give me a like and let's get going with number one. Hello, everybody, and <laughs> welcome back to part number two. Question is, how to practice slow? <sighs> slow. Such hard. Okay, I prepared for you three different uh, situations. Okay, so we having. I'm gonna go first with the fingers exercise. A Hannon. I just picked one by just one. You know that is number five. Then I'm gonna go a little tiny bit on the another example on the sonatina in C major. This one. <laughs> in my playlist under classical tutorials. I believe it's another three part tutorial or actually even more because it's part one, part two, part three. Don't remember, check it out over there. I'm gonna leave the link into the description. And then I'm gonna go with Chopin in a minor, uh, the waltz that everybody knows it. And again, I do have the full tutorial over there and <laughs> down and stuff like that. So first of all, I want to go with this exercise um, of Hannon. Okay, before we go in, let's understand why we need to practice slow. Well, so the point is this. <laughs> Nobody likes to practice slow. Nobody. In my entire 30 years of <laughs> teaching, 98 percent of my students and believe me I taught from six years old to 81 years old. <laughs> I have students all ages and believe me okay uh, nobody wants to practice so I, I have only one student that she really really enjoyed to practice slow and that student actually was a ballerina and as we speaking <laughs> today she is a prim ballerina um, and um, I think it's in Orlando or so, uh, ballet corp or something. Anyhow, she is already on big stage and so, and she was practicing one by one. She understood from the beginning 
what it means to practice law. So the point is when you go into a piano lessons or you just sing a song, you know, you pick up a song as we were uh, talking before, you know, you already have it in your ear how it's supposed to be done, right? So it's like you already think like, oh my God, this is going to be such a good cake. Like I want to eat this cake and so. But you need to understand that the process to get to um, uh, eat a cake, <laughs> we need to prepare. So you're not the last person to eat. You actually, you are the cook <laughs> that needs to prepare the and create the cake. So you need to prepare the eggs and the flour. Well, I'm a woman. I don't know what to say. Or even, even let's say you want to have a car, right? So you're thinking, oh, I'm going to have this, I don't know, Mercedes, <laughs> BMW, or Lexus, or I don't know, and a Porsche, and I'm going to go fa fast or stuff like that, right? But at this moment in time, you are not the last person. You're not the person who is listening. You are creating that car. So you need to take piece by piece by piece by piece, creating each piece at a time, and then put it all together, right? So if I'm going back to the bake cake, <laughs> to the baking, you know, to the cake, you need to prepare the eggs, you need to prepare the flour, you need to make the dough and then separate, make the cream and separate, I don't know, make something else, the, the, the whipped cream, right? You got to prepare them separately. You got to mix them and then put it to bake for whatever time in the certain, certain, not too high, not too low temperature and then put it all together, the cream and stuff, and finally decorate. And finally, you, you, <laughs> you present the cake that is done, and you are, and it's paying off because you're like, oh, there's such a good cake, and everybody's the amazed. It's paying off all the time. It will pay off. But before we go in there, we definitely need to go one by one, all right? So, did I talk too much? Oh my God, you could skip all this. <laughs> yeah, I think I talked too much, but I want you to understand to uh, um, switch the perspective in which you just having a cake and to create a cake or you want to drive the Mercedes or the high sports and car, right? <laughs> you got to actually make the car right now, not just driving it. And then you will drive it too because you are a creator, right? So I'm going to go with this exercise. Uh, the end result, it will this. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, my fingers are not going as fast, right? Or as I presented in the Journey to 99 series. So this technique is not coming out of nowhere. It's coming after hours and hours and hours, and I'm calling off hammering, all right? Like that. So first of all, you would go with the metronome as slow as you are able to play this, as slow as you are able to play without mistakes. And I'm going to go in this state on all three for you to understand what means as slow, right? So if I would go here, I'm putting the metronome first. So first step is you to are able to play it. In this stage, actually, you are grounding. I'm calling as well the grounding uh, uh, time when you are grounding your fingers into you grounding. So from the mental 
processing, even seeing a song and analyzing what the notes are there, it's going to become a skill. It's going to become a skill. So you need to repeat and repeat and repeat, repeat the same thing over and over again. How long you're going to repeat? I'm going to tell you in a second. I'm coming back. Okay. Right now, once you repeat and then you really, really know I'm talking about the hand, then you can go a little tiny bit more, right? Like from 70, I'm going to go right now. I think it's uh, 85. step another 10 from 60 to 70 70 to 80 or just to 85 and then 80 85 85 90 only when you start feeling bored of what you're doing <laughs> and only when you feel so comfortable that the speeding up process it's come it's coming organically you can push it a very little bit but if you push it too much then you know what's going to happen. Your hand is going to get tense over here and you will not be able to achieve much, much speed in a long distance. You might be able to achieve a little pattern here and there, but on a long distance, it's not going to work. So let the process just go. It's like even growing muscles. You cannot get, you know, I know my son because he's a bodybuilder. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I'm a musician and he's a bodybuilder. I love that. And uh, his muscle, I know how much he worked at the gym. <laughs> and did not came out of nothing muscle to, you know, pretty big muscle. They were like hours or even twice a day and, and pain. Oh my God. Oh my God. Believe me. It was Every day was a painful day for me to watch. I'm like, why are you doing this? and he really wanted so anyhow so we're going back on the piano <laughs> right so uh you really gotta go so when you increase the weights you know i don't know if that would relate with you you know maybe you are a guy there that wants you know so you gotta do a lot of repetitions with the same amount of weights when you feel that it's easy that's when you can increase with a little bit another pound or two or five or whatever it is okay so here is the same thing you can increase little by little from 70 to 75 75 to 80 80 to 85 and you don't increase your speed and you work with the metronome this is the metronome <laughs> that's your bible <laughs> that's your friend you gotta you hate it and love it. Hate it and love it. I don't like it. Believe me. I never liked the metronome. But it works. It works and I'm still using it. So right now it's not I don't love it. I don't hate it. It just works. And then I put it here and say, you're going to tell me how good I am and how fast I can go or I cannot go. <laughs> okay. What are my limitations and when I do need to pull back. Right? All right. Thank you. 